Hello everyone, this is Paul. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. This lesson I will be explaining how to plot points on a graph. Plotting points on a graph is a natural extension of plotting points on a number line. So I went ahead and drew two number lines here, and I labeled the first one x, and I labeled the second number line y. And the reason why I did this is because plotting points on a graph requires two components. It requires an x component and a y component. So for instance, the point 1, 2 represents a point that falls here on the x because the first number is 1, so it represents 1 on the x, and 2 on the y because 2 is the second number, y is the second part of the ordered pair. So if you were just to plot this point on its individual number lines, you would get two separate points, one on the x-axis or the x-number line, and the other one on the y-axis or the y-number line. So to show this point graphically, we pretty much take the y-axis and we flip it 90 degrees so that it's vertical. So I went ahead and drew that right here. So this line right here represents the y-number line or the y-axis flipped vertical. Now the zeros both cross here at a point we call the origin. And for y, numbers are positive when they go up and negative when they go down or below the x-axis. And the x is the same as normal. For, to the right of the origin or to the right of zero, the x is positive. And to the left of the origin or zero, the x is negative. So to plot this point 1, 2 on a graph, we simply take the x part, which is the 1, because it's first. We start at 0 and we count up 1. That would be right there. And the second part is the y component. And so we start at 0 again. And this time we count up to 2 on the y axis. So 1, 2. So each of these points individually represents their x and y component of this point. So the point itself is plotted by projecting two perpendicular lines off of each component so that they cross like that. And this point that I'm drawing right now is the point 1, 2. So it has an x component of 1 and a y component of 2. And where their projections off of their axes cross, that gives you the point 1, 2. So let's try negative 3 and negative 1. So negative 3 is the first number, so therefore it represents x, because x always comes first in these ordered pairs. So we start at 0, and then on the x-axis we count negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, right here. And the y is negative 1, so we start at 0, and because it's negative, we go down 1, so this is negative 1. So the point negative 3, negative 1 is represented by drawing these projections off of the axis from those points, and where they cross represents the point negative 3, negative 1. So let's go ahead and do one more. Let's say we have negative 2 and positive 1. Negative 2, the first number is always the x, so we start here, and we travel minus 1, minus 2 on the x, which is a point here. The second number is y, so going positive 1 unit on the y, we put a point here. We go ahead and draw the projections, and where the projections cross represents the point, negative 2, 1. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. If you've enjoyed my tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be putting out more videos in the near future. And uh, leave some comments if you have any specific topics you want me to cover in math. You can visit my website at learnmathtutorials.com. If you'd like to view all my videos there, you can do so. And anyway, hopefully you have a great day, and we'll see you next time.